Hey guys, it's Randaya from Pack Hacker, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Matador Pocket Blanket 3.0. So I've been testing this for a little bit over a month, and even though it's called a blanket, it's more like a tarp for picnics. So make sure you check out the full written review at packhacker.com, and let's get right into it. All right, so as you can see, uh, the pocket blanket comes in a nice mesh sleeve, and it's actually attached to the blanket itself, which is really nice, because then there's like less chance that you'll lose it. Um, so I'm gonna just open it up here and show you. So it's actually fairly big. Um, would say you can probably fit three people comfortably on it. So, as you can see, you got the Matador logo here at the bottom, and then this is the, the mesh pouch that you uh, roll it up in to pack it up. So, nice and attached there. And then you have these uh, steel hooks, basically, that you just put in the ground. So if you're having a picnic, outside on the grass just punch them in so that it'll stay in place which is really handy and then they have these little um little slits here that you can slide them in um, so that they're out of the way when you're packing it but i've actually found that even if i slide this in here when i'm actually folding it up like these tend to fall out anyway so <laughs> so there is that um, I've used this for a couple picnics. I also use it for outdoor yoga, just to have something like underneath my yoga mat. If you are sitting on just the blanket itself, it is like quite thin, as you can see. It's like thin and swishy. So it's not super comfortable if you're sitting on like uneven or like bumpy ground. So just something to keep in mind. Um, when I used it for yoga, it was fine because I had my mat on top, but just using it for a picnic can be kind of uncomfortable. So we have the little stitching here, which this is really handy because it's basically a guide to tell you how to fold it back up to get it back into the uh, little pouch, which <laughs> the guide helps, but it's still not like that easy, I don't think. Uh, a few times I got lazy and just sort of stuffed it in and was like, okay, whatever, it's fine. Um, but you do have these guides here so that you can do that. So I'll just show you that really quick. Just fold it up this way. Fold it again on this line. Fold it again this way. So that part's pretty easy. Um, it's just when you get like, when it gets smaller and smaller, you're trying to like fold it this small. It's not really like seamless, but it does fit <laughs> inside the mesh sleeve, which is good. So I won't fold, fold it all the way up uh, just yet. Still got a few more things to say. So this is nice and water resistant. So if you're having a picnic and you spill something, the water literally rolls right off of it which is really, really nice. Um, it's nice too, when I was doing the yoga, like the bottom of my mat didn't get wet. The ground was wet because it had rained the day before. So it was really cool to just, you know, keep it nice and protect it. So that's good. I personally haven't had any issues with it like ripping or tearing, um, but I have read some reviews. Um, I guess the longer that you use it, obviously would be more prone to tears because the material is quite thin. So just something to note and to uh, look out for. Okay, so let me pull this back up. Not totally neat, but <laughs> I promise it will fit. So then you just kind of, you know, shove it back in there. And it's pretty awesome, you know, you have a, a blanket that can fit up to three people that really folds down to like the size of your palm, which is cool. So there you have it. That's the Matador Pocket Blanket 3.0. Make sure you check out packhacker.com for more information and the best buying options that help support the channel at no additional cost to you. 
Link down in the description below and we'll see you in the next video.